Hi guys, today I have a really exciting review video for you. So this is a new collection of nail polishes from Moonshine Manny that's releasing on May 8th. <laughs> and this is a really beautiful collection. It is inspired by a uh, author, Agatha Christie, and a kind of like a collection of books from her. So all of those polishes are named after books that she wrote. And this is a four-piece collection. They are all very muted, mauve -y, kind of beautiful soft shades, and I totally love them. And of course, Phoebe always releases a add-on polish to her collections and a Project Dupe It polish. So that's additional two polishes. So six total I'm going to be reviewing for you today. And like I said, this collection is inspired by uh, Agatha Christie. And the collection name is called the Queen of Crime Collection. And each polish will be $12. Or if you buy the entire collection, four piece together, it will be $42. So that's a $6 discount. On top of that, if you do purchase the four polishes all together within the 48 hours of the collection launching, you can get the add-on polish here for free. And this add-on polish will be $12 on its own if you buy it. That essentially would bring your price down to just about a little bit over $8 per polish. That's a great deal. And this collection will launch on May 8th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. I would have information down below. I know it's a lot. And of course, I will have Phoebe's website as well. It is not any affiliate links or anything. It's just her website address. And now let's get into the review of the collection. So like I said, this is a four piece and they are all kind of mauve and neutral and soft and elegant. But I can definitely see they are generally divided, at least in my eyes, into two color categories. One, we have this really soft neutral nude shade. The other is kind of those uh, mauve purpley shades. So let's talk about the mauve purpley polishes first. I have a Caribbean Mystery. So you can see between those two, a Caribbean Mystery is a little bit more vibrant. And this polish is described to be a rich violet mauve crelly accented with pink, purple, blue iridescent, and multi-chrome flakies and soft gold flakies. This polish is beautiful. It's totally a spring appropriate polish in my opinion. And it is kind of like just a office appropriate and you can just wear it into any occasion kind of polish. Though now almost all offices are closed anyway, so it's not like that really matters. But this guy just screams that kind of soft spring to me. I know not everyone is comfortable with wearing like green or blue polishes and I think a soft purple or kind of awkward shade like this is just perfect and it really will fit into anyone's bill and the application you can see is very dreamy, very easy and I think at this point Phoebe really had her formula down so this one you wouldn't be disappointed, it's just a very beautifully done, soft, gorgeous shade. Then we have the deeper one of the two. You can see this one is just a little bit deeper, a little bit more muted, and it seems like it has a, a touch more gray in there, uh, shade wide. And this one is called They Came to Baghdad. So this guy is described to be a deep violet mauve crelly filled with platinum flakies, delicate micro hollow flakies, and navy to violet shifting multi-chrome flakies. This one really surprised me because just those kind of platinum flakies, I don't think I've really seen them anywhere because they look silver to me, but they are like super shiny and they really just jump out of your nails against this kind of deeper, more muted base. And I think while well, the application is obviously very easy and I think the shade is a little bit on the deeper side so that it can even carry you into the fall and winter months, I think this one could be worn all year really because it's soft and muted. And if your skin tone is a little bit deeper, then this could totally be considered a neutral for you even. It just went on my nails so smoothly and it's gorgeous and beautiful. And then the next two are kind of in this soft neutral pink shades uh, range. And the lighter one is called Death on the Nile. So this one is totally your 
kind of wedding shade, isn't it? <laughs> All I can think about is just a wedding shade that's so soft and elegant and it just cannot go wrong on your skin tone. And this one is described to be a light rose tan curly filled with pink, green, gold, iridescent flakies and soft gold flakies. And the application is extremely easy even though the shade is very light but it is not sheer whatsoever. It still gets to its opacity very easily. I only needed two coats and you can see the uh, flakies still shine through, but they're not too loud. They're just very soft and very delicate. It just feels like they're dancing on top of this soft, neutral, crally base and it's just gorgeous. And I don't know how many times I can say the word soft because this is really like, it just reminds me of that. So that's the feeling I get. It's very fuzzy and it's the perfect kind of um, girly look. And you just cannot go wrong with a shade like this. If your skin tone is a little deeper, it might even make you look a little bit more tan and that would just be great in the summer. So I think overall, I'm really pleased with this one. And then we have the deeper one among the two kind of, uh, nudie pinks so this one would probably uh, be more like a neutral shade for some deeper skin tones and this one is called and then there were none so this guy is described to be a medium rose tan crelly packed with red gold green iridescent flakies and delicate micro hollow flakies the flaky it seems like it's just slightly more dense uh compared to the death on the nile but it's not busy by any means. It still just looks very cohesive and it's embedded into the base color very nicely. The formula again is just like a buttery dream and it applied itself basically and Phoebe's uh, brush has this nice curve so it really just goes on so smoothly. It's very satisfying to just look at it um, and I fairly fairly enjoyed this shade and I think those two would just be my Go to neutrals for a little while because they're just so good, both the formula and the color. Next, let's talk about the add-on polish of this collection. And the name of this add-on polish is called The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. So this polish, like I mentioned earlier, it is $12 if you buy it on its own or if you purchase the four piece during the 40, uh, the first 48 hours of the launching, you can get this polish for free. And this guy is described to be a dusty navy blue flecked polish with fuchsia blue gold multi-chrome flakies and purple blue iridescent flakies. And I really like just how those kind of purple-ish color just dance on top of this really muted and calm base and it really just added that spark of interest and i think the color are similar because they're a little bit more no more on the cooler monotone side but at the same time so contrasting that it really sparked on top of this polish without looking busy i think just the color combo is brilliant and it's calming but still fun and really cute I feel a good kind of dusty blue shade could carry you over the entire year. It really doesn't have a season whatsoever. So if you're into some deeper kind of calming shades, this will be perfect. So at the very end, I want to talk about the polish for Project Dupe It. So Phoebe every month would try to dupe a very famous polish on the market, something that's on like a lot of people's lemmings and it's no longer available. So this month, uh, Phoebe decided to dupe China Glaze Wish on a Starfish, which I owned at a point, but I decluttered mine long ago. And that guy was a textured polish. And so the same thing here, Phoebe decided to make a texture polish to dupe it. And her polish is called If Wishes Were Starfishes. It's just a really cute name. And this polish is described to be a soft shell pink texture polish filled with gold fleck and red to gold shifting iridescent micro glitters. This guy is beautiful. First of all, the formula is very, very easy to work with. I only needed two coats. It applies very smoothly, just two coats, and it really has a kick of that gold shimmer in there and it sparkles all around and I think this polish really sparkles way more than the China Glaze one and it's just really delicate really springy really girly and it just makes you happy and it feels very frizzy just those little sparkles in there reminds me a lot of those 
kind of like frizzy bubbles in a soda. Um, I don't know, but that's just the feeling I get from it. It's very bubbly, very happy, very springy. Um, it's just a good feeling. So I think this one is really good if you are looking for the China Glaze Polish and you might as well just pick this one up because this one is $12 and it's not going to be a limited edition polish. Uh, Phoebe will be carrying it like forever. So that hopefully will help you to uh, ease the crave of finding China Glaze Wish on a Starfish. But that's it. This is the entire collection. The six polishes Phoebe is releasing on May 8th. And I really, really enjoy this collection just because how calming it is. Even though in spring and summer, that's when all the colors come out. Uh, I enjoy my neons. I enjoy my just, you know, happy colors. But I definitely do still need those muted shades because I need my uh, palette cleansers, basically. And I tend to switch off between neons and muted shades uh, all year round anyways. So I hope those will become some of your stables in your collection. And again, all the information will be linked down below so that you can just go check it out easily. And of course, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and thank you guys for watching. Bye.